Hi, it's Ms. Parrott, and in this video, we're going to look at how to make phylogenetic trees from derived traits charts. So, a derived trait chart is just a chart that lists some organisms that are related in some way through evolutionary history, and it has different traits that organisms within that uh, phylogenetic tree, different traits that they would have. And in this one, it marks um, if there's a zero in the column, then that means that the organism does not have that trait. And if there's a one, it means that it does have that trait. So for example, um, mosses do not have vascular tissue, seeds, or flowers. Whereas pine trees have vascular, and, vascular tissue and seeds, but do not have flowers. So that's how you would read this. Sometimes you'll also see this um, written in a different way instead of zeros and ones. Zeros will be like negative signs or minuses, and ones will be plus signs. So you'd read those the same way. Plus means that it's present, and negative means it's absent, or one means that it has it, and zero means that it doesn't. Okay, so let's turn this bunch of ones and zeros into a tree that tells us about the plants, the, uh, the evolutionary history of plants. So the first thing you have to do is find the outgroup, right? The outgroup is the group of organisms that is least like everything else. It's kind, it's the base. There are no traits, there are no derived traits. It's just kind of blank and plain. Now in this chart, yes, it says out right here by mosses. But even if it weren't there, we would see that mosses are the outgroup because they have zero derived traits. They are least like any of these other organisms. So, let's go ahead and start making that tree. I like to make the kind that are like a V. Um, they're easier. But one thing that's important is if you're going to draw it this way, you need to do a whole V to start with, even if you're not sure where everything goes yet. But we want to be sure that all of our points end up along this flat, you know, kind of area. So mosses are outgroup. They're least closely related to all the other organisms. Then at this node, right, nodes are some speciation event, um, something that causes lineages to diverge. Um, a trait derived that separated mosses from all the other organisms. And if you we look through here, what is the trait that everybody but moss has? Aha! vascular tissue that's like the veins and the leaves so since we know that the vascular tissue is a trait that's found in all of these organisms then we know that that's going to be the one that was first derived so vascular tissue is a trait uh, that appeared here when the lineage formed then, our beautiful friends, the ferns, they have vascular tissue, but they don't have seeds or flowers. So, we're going to give them their little, their own line coming off of here. So, right, this is our other branch. We're going to put ferns right there. Okay, so, mosses. Do not have vascular tissue, they're the outgroup. Vascular tissue derived in all the organisms uh, that came from there on in evolutionary history. Ferns, they do have vascular tissue, but they don't have seeds or flowers. So, to figure out which trait was derived next, right, seeds or flowers, we look to see what is an additional thing what's the newest trait to have evolved um, which is shared with the next most right and so you can see that pine trees have vascular tissue and seeds but no flowers so it looks like seeds that was the next trait that was derived at. so when this branched off when this node branched you had these that did not have seeds, they have spores, and then all the organisms from here on out are going to have seeds. And 
so we can draw a line here as well. Okay, so now I've got pine trees and flowering plants left, and the ones that do have flowers, flowers were the next trait to be derived. Let's get this over here. And so, organisms that have vascular tissue and they do have seeds but do not have flowers. Let's see. Uh, yes, vascular tissue. Yes, seeds. No flowers. Uh huh. That is our pine trees. And then our organisms that have vascular tissue and seeds and flowers, these are our flowering plants. There you go. So you can see now how we used this chart to build an actual phylogenetic tree. A real evolutionary relationship between these four plant groups. And this also shows the traits that were derived at each speciation event that led to this evolution.